Uh, welcome to Metairie. The Saints have just wrapped up day two of training camp. Now, there are no pads on yet, so you don't want to get too excited about things you see, but there are some themes. By this time last year, we already knew Mike Thomas was going to be a player before the pads went on. Cam Jordan said it's difficult for him to show any of what he can do until the pads go on, and that starts tomorrow. Okay, first note, the Saints have sold out four of the 11 open practices. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday of this week all sold out, and then next Saturday sold out. They passed out all the allocated tickets. So if you want to go to a practice, you have to register online. But those four days of the 11 are already gone, and the place will be filled. Okay, a couple of notes. Uh, Morshawn Lattimore, the rookie first-round draft pick, has changed numbers. He wore number 23 today. Hard to get used to the Pierre Thomas to him, but he will be number 23. We saw the starting offensive line, and this is the way it's shaping up right now. Zach Streif, Larry Warford, Josh Larivas at center. Then at left guard was Andres Pete, and at left tackle was rookie Ryan Ramchek, the first-round draft pick. He's working with the first-teamers. He is clearly going to get a shot to win that job with the first team of the Saints. We saw a lot of them working on three safety sets with Von Ron Bell, Kenny Vaccaro, and Raphael Bush. You expect to see the Saints play a lot of three safety sets during the season. Those three were working together on a fairly significant number of plays. In seven-on-seven -seven drills, some fun stuff to watch. A long catch from Brandon Coleman, a long catch from Jake Lamman, and two really good ones from Corey Fuller. He'll be a guy to watch once the pads go on. Corey Fuller making a couple of big plays, and his plays will positively be part of our plays of the day. We'll have that on Eyewitness News at 10. And coming up at 6, we caught up with Adrian and Peterson, he seems to have about as perfect an attitude as a guy like him can have. Two things. One, he's used to being the main guy in the locker room. Now Drew Brees is. He says he's fine with his new role. And two, which was really interesting, he said he can't wait to get the pads on to show what he can do. It's been a while since Adrian Peterson had to prove himself. He feels like he has to. Really interesting stuff that's coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. For now, reporting from the Saints facility in Metairie, Doug Mouton, Eyewitness Sports. Thanks for a lot of questions.